Hey YouTube, how the heck you doing? I'm doing great and I hope you are too. It's a really nice day out today. I should be out there with my Canon RP and I probably will in the next half hour or so try to get out there. But I wanted to bring you another unboxing of a pen that I came across. I didn't want to bring you one so quickly soon after the one I just did for the Lamy All Star. But this one's kind of unusual. It's not a fountain pen. But uh, let's go ahead and do an unboxing. I did a quick uh, little preview unboxing so I don't have all the uh, paperwork and the shuffling of uh, packaging that I usually get with my Goulet pens and that's where I got this one was from was Goulet Pen Company got my official sticker and I got my Tootsie Roll Pop but this here is the pen itself that I got in it is the Euchre's Metis Fiber Pen and basically what it is as you can see the box here it says Euchre's it's a uh, felt tip pen that you can use uh, refillable India ink with, or not India ink, but uh, fountain pen ink. And I also got a bottle of the uh, Monteverde USA Onyx ink to put in it. So we're going to ink this puppy up with that. But let's go ahead and take a little gander at this pen. I got the gray metallic one. So there you have it uh, right there. It's very well weighted and everything all metallic it's got some camfered edges on the back side here partly down the barrel there and then as we unscrew the pen there it's not a pull off cap it's a unscrew pen we can cap or post the cap at the other end there it's got a nice balance and everything and then as you can see it's got a nice little polished grip where you uh, set your penmanship, whether you hold your pen. I've seen people hold their pen different ways. I've held it this way. Sometimes I can get a different kind of lettering and a little more better penmanship. And then I hold it the traditional way too. But this one here is got a felt tip on it. You can see it's a little white nib that's protruding back behind there. Let me see if I can get that in there. You can probably see a little white nib that comes out of there and that is what's going to let the ink flow out from the cartridge which has been included I can hear it rattling around in here take the cap off so they did include a little cartridge a little black ink cartridge but like I said I did get the uh, Mono Verde ink to use with it and along with the package they do give you the little refill that you would use in the pen itself so I'm going to be using this little refill to ink up this puppy get it ready to go and uh, we'll just give it a little quick test now typically uh, what I use for inking with this type of pen is my micron pens whether they be in a uh, 0.05 that's what I have here uh, usually what I do for my inking in my daily journal that I carry around on there so when I came across the Euchre's, I knew it was a little bit different. This is actually a .08, so it's a little wider, a little thicker. And then up from that, it did the .10, .12, or 1.2, and I believe maybe a 1.5, but I wanted to stay within uh, the range that I usually sketch in with size. So let's get this inked up, and then we'll do a little test. So we're all ready to go. I inked it up. A little off-camera magic. Basically, I took the cartridge, put it into the ink, uh, just enough to submerge the end of it. Rotated the piston all the way down to release the air into the bottle of ink. And then when I returned the uh, piston up in the upward position, drew the ink into the piston. And it filled it probably three quarters of the way. Uh, and that was fine for now. I just want to do some quick testing with it. Pushed it down just a little bit to get like a slight drop at the very end of the cartridge. Inserted it into the pen. As you can see here, I'll take it off right here. There you go. It's inserted into the pen. And then once that was inserted into the pen, I did slight uh, turn on it just to force a little ink down into the fiber tip there. And then, of course, put it back on the pen itself. Got the cap posted at the end, so 
not too bad. Got a little little nib of uh, black there. It uh, seems to have gone through because I did touch it to the paper towel. It went right. So let's go ahead and do a little writing test and see just how well this uh, works. So we got the, uh, like I said, the .08. Got a new setup for my camera here. This is the Euchers. I might as well just say Euchers. And like with the felt tip, you don't want to press too hard. And I'm not really doing too much of a hard uh, Euchers felt tip pen. Not pressing too hard. I can move move pretty quickly as I write. Uh, the writing is probably a little skewed because I got a new setup here for the camera just so I could show you exactly how this is working no problem the pen and ink is working really well the ink has not stuttered or anything it's laying a nice line down I'm going to do a comparison with my Micron .05 right next to it just so you can see it's got a little thinner profile in the writing of it. Go back up here a little. Do some squiggles with the micron. Do some squiggles with the euchre. So really nice pen. Writes really smooth. Uh, didn't have any trouble inking it up. Flowed right away. Uh, they say you can uh, change out the cartridges as you need add new tips. They do have new tips available when eventually it will probably uh, wear away and you'll need to replace the tip. I haven't needed that obviously since this is a new uh, purchase. I didn't get any as backup either so because I always have my Micron backup just in case I need it in the meantime when uh, I order up a tip. But uh, this is a really nice belt tip pen. Reusable as far as the uh, putting more ink into it so it's gonna give me a long long time as far as use it's got the nice clip there a little decorative clip it's not highly polished it's kind of got like a herringbone pattern on it looks like the cap here is polished up the name of euchre is euchres is right there on the polished band between the screw on cap and the edge of the barrel there uh, also have a nice polished camphor edge right there just below the end of the cap or end of the uh, barrel. Uh, the color, nice color. Uh, there's three colors that they had available. They had a checkered one. Uh, didn't want to do that. They look too plain, too normal that you've seen a lot in, in different pens. So I didn't go with that one. This is like a gunmetal or gray brush is what they call it. I uh, do like it. It's kind of a lacquered finish on it. Uh, not too slippery or anything. I believe it's got a nice good weight to it as I was playing around with it here. You can just keep writing and drawing. Not bad at all. I do like this. I think it's going to replace my Micron in my little system there that I have. It's a little bit fatter than that so it's going to hold in my portfolio a little bit. A little bit shorter than a Micron. But uh, plastic case, you can get those by the dozens. This I purchased at Goulet Pen. I'll leave a link down below for you to check it out. And then uh, we'll just see how it goes. I'll probably visit this again down the road when I do some sketching for you guys or whatever. But in the meantime, go ahead and check these guys out. If you do a lot of sketching with like felt tip pens and you want to have the availability to use different colored inks, uh, so I only got black this time because that's typically what I sketch out in black and then I fill it in with some water coloring with the brush and stuff like that. So I'll probably do some different links down the road but for the meantime I'm just going to use the Monteverde that I picked up and the black onyx. Keep going with this pen and uh, let me know what you think of this guys. See if uh, I'm sure there's other pens that are like this, the felt tip that are refillable with the fountain pen ink or other inks. Uh, I've probably seen them in the past didn't really give them a second look or not but when this came out across in an email that I got from uh, Goulet Pen I did want to test it out and see what it's like it's like 40 bucks so for the use and the endurance that I'll probably get through this compared to like a Micron Pen uh, with availability of switching out the color inks and stuff 
uh, I think it's well worth it. So let me know below what your thoughts on that. Hope you enjoyed this little uh, unboxing reveal of this little uh, Euchre's felt tip pen. And I will catch you next time, guys. Have a good one.